the top seed in the East, the Miami Heat takes on the NBA's leading scorer, Allen Iverson, and the Philadelphia 76ers. With Doug Collins and Hall of Famer Cheryl Miller, this is Kevin Harlan. A pleasant good evening. From officials tonight, Bennett Salvatore, Mark Wunderlich, and Robbie Robinson. And outside, this is Wade, who is coming off a couple of so-so games, two consecutive losses for Miami coming in. He gives a great effort tonight in the big game. They'll be the first one to cheer for him as well. These are great fans. I played here. They love their basketball. They loved uh, Doug Collins. Another hit for Wade from outside. Well, you hope to make him a jump shooter. Eastern Conference, as we said, Philly number eight. Oh, and slipping down is Wade. He went down hard. And there is a foul, and it's on Chris Weber. Philadelphia comes in just a game and a half on top of New Jersey, number eight in the Eastern Conference. Looks like his feet just slipped out from underneath him. They're going to call the hand check on Weber. That really wasn't a foul on Chris Weber. That was just, looked like Wade hit a slick spot. You see, just going to go down. Maybe the left hand a little bit by we uh, Weber. Right there, you see a little bit of the left hand, but I don't think that caused the... It was 3 of 10 in the loss that the Sixers suffered here Tuesday night against the Boston Celtics. A crushing blow for Philadelphia. We just mentioned that two straight losses brings Miami here into Philadelphia. As Wade was driving, there is a quick foul, and it's thrown inside. Very upset. I just watched him the last couple possessions. He is not happy with the way his team has come out tonight. This is a game you heard him talking to Cheryl Mulder before the game. It's a must win for them now. It's obviously, if they don't win, it doesn't eliminate them. But their next two games are at Indiana at New Jersey. They, all of a sudden, you lose four in a row. You play yourself right out of a playoff spot. I don't see the intensity in Philadelphia right now. They're on their heels. This is their home court. You've got to get this crowd involved in the transition game, get easy baskets. In the half court, they will struggle to score. Shaq again, and they triple team him. Dwayne Lee. And a foul. Iguodala was in there, and I think he picks up the foul. He does. That's the first time ever. As you take a look at Jim O'Brien, and as you take a look at some of his keys tonight in defeating Miami. Well, I just talked about force and convert on turnovers. They lead the NBA in force turnovers. you got to keep Dwayne Wade out of the paint. He's fifth in the NBA in scoring in the paint. More importantly, you've got to keep him off the foul line. When he gets in the paint, then it's a chain reaction, and then Shaq starts to dominate inside. And it's got to be Allen Iverson's competitive spirit tonight. Last time these teams, or excuse me, when they played January 24th here, 45 points, and he carried this team on his back. He's going to have to have an incredible tonight, uh, night tonight and find guys that will fill in and, and play with him and Stoyakovic. So they brought that set here and playing through Weber so that Iverson doesn't have to handle the ball so much. And it's a three by Jones from the top five. Shooters in the history of Miami shooting the three season. They average about 17 points a game off turnovers, which is fourth best in the league. A block shot is like a turnover. Miami has made the change for Shaq. Philadelphia is still sticking with their starting five. Haslam. And he's one of the top shooters in the NBA, usually inside the free throw line, but he does have that nice outside. And a rebound by Dwayne Wade. It takes a lot of punishment, but you know what? Team's been dishing it out on Wade, too. He's faced much more physicality since going inside, although that time he knifes his way for an easy bucket. Well, they know a big wandering around down on that baseline. If you're guarding him, you got to get your body on him because he's very good at exploding up and getting that opportunity after he's missed it, that second effort. Miami is led by his and rejected by Zoe, which triggers it the other way, and Wade. In the McKee, Rodney Rogers in for the first time tonight for the Philadelphia 76ers and Wade. But you know, Kevin, just to follow up a little bit with Allen Iverson, when you are when you are setting up your game plan, you plan for him to roam off the basketball. So you try to make sure you've got a shooter on the floor that can take advantage of that situation. And so with Damon Jones out there, Allen Iverson is going to be in a situation he's going to be looking for steals. If Miami makes the extra pass, somebody's going to get an open shot. And I like what you said today earlier, Doug, about this game for Philadelphia. This team through the playoffs, should they make it? He's got to have Iverson time. They haven't been able to practice. And a tough time of the season to do it as well. And here is Dave Jones, tapped by Jackson. Fresh 24 for Miami as we approach four to play in the first half. Wade. Oh! That's a nice looking pass to Damon Jones. Wade fouled by Rodney Rogers. What did I say one of the keys? Keep him off the <laughs> foul line? How many free throws has he got? He's got a lot. He's been up there the most of any Miami player tonight. 
But the problem is when he got have to worry about come playoff time. You know, this Miami team is beaten about 36 teams this year they won 36 games by 10 or more points they haven't played a lot of close games so come playoff time where free throw shooting becomes vital then you have to worry a little bit and with Shaq I know he always says that you know I make them when they count but you know he's shooting he's shooting 46 percent this year so you know come playoff time teams are going to want to put three four different guys on him use 24 fouls and make free throw shooting a, a uh, big part of the game especially late in game when games are on the line. Well asked Ben Wallace at Detroit he has the worst shooting percent. Quick catch and shoot he is a quick shooter. Here's Wade look how quick Wade is. Oh what a spectacular play by Dwayne Wade. A foul on Kyle Korver of Philadelphia. Well he had to be in the restricted area because he was there in time. So we'll have to take a look at this but this is the fearlessness I talked about with Dwayne Wade. This is why he picks up offensive fouls. Look as he his right heel was on the restricted line so that is a good call you're going to see you know, right well he takes a step back so it's hard to see when the the uh, contact occurred did the contact drive his foot over the back of the line or was it there before the contact occurred here is wade who is number three we're talking about free throws attempted he is number three and he's on food <laughs> <laughs> you work with julia childs here comes wade eager down was defending a nice shot by dwayne wade who has put in 17 points and that is a miss shot by corver and a four on two wade damon jones this is a three and that is good See the separation that teams, good teams get at the end of the spin as Jones will loft one and try to beat the buzzer. Good if it goes. And it does! A three by Damon Jones of the Miami Heat. Well, he was questionable for by Miami. Now the Heat back on top. 61 to 52. Let's send it to you. Well, Dwayne, certainly you guys were able to get off to a quick start, but Philly obviously able to climb back into it. Talk about the defense in the second quarter. Uh, the defense in the second quarter was very important for us. Uh, we came out early sticking defense, and then, you know, this is a team that's fighting for their they playoff lives, so they came back at us. But, you know, we came out the huddle and said, that's all we got to do is get stopped, get the ball out, and get some easy baskets. You know, obviously this is Shaq's first game back, 14 minutes in the first half. How did you think the big fella played? He did good. Uh, he ain't trying to do too much. Um, he told us coming in, you know, everybody else is getting into a flow. He'll get here. So that's what we're trying to do. Swing the ball around, let everybody touch it. All right. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, sir. All right, EJ, Miami Heat shifting it into another gear. Let's send it back to you in our Atlanta studio. Two straight coming into tonight and five of nine. Shaq is back for the first time in four games after a stomach ailment. And Wade again slipping yeah. on that floor. I don't know if his shoes are slick, but he is uh, not getting good traction tonight. Oh, what a I'll play take that back. by Dwayne Wade. He's getting great traction tonight. <laughs> He's got a game-high 19 <laughs> points. Yep. I guarantee you, though, when he comes back in there again, he better look for him. Well, Mark Jackson and so are really getting physical. Here's Wade in the lane, flying for two. Well, that's two guys who love to bang around. That's Zoe's game, and that's Mark Jackson's game. Put your body on some. Wade I is picked up by McKee. And spoon feeds Hanson for a pretty play by the Miami Heat. And Mark Jackson's 10 of 10. Yeah. Talk about his great free throw shooting. When your big man can shoot free throw, what a blessing. There's Wade fouled by Weber. I think that's going to be Weber's fifth. They lost some games, and then they won like four straight. So the minute they won some games, and everybody talked about they're better without him. And that's not used to coming in from a team where he had the ball the entire game, and guys played off of him. And that's not a team that... Uh, it's one big. There's another turnover after they forced the missed shot. Weber turns it over, and there's two of the result. And that's a big two for Miami. Now up by three as Weber continues by Weber and Wade. Iguodala knocked it away. He's eighth in steals in the NBA. And Wade continue to fight even when it looks like it'd be easier to give up on a play like that when he is just absolutely... Remember now, he's coming off probably his worst game of the year where he had one field goal against Detroit, four turnovers, and just absolutely willed himself to pick that ball up and get to the free throw line. Iguodala picks up his third personal foul shooter. He takes a lot of attempts, as we talked about before. Take on the Dallas Mavericks. Kevin, if that scoreboard is right, New York beat Cleveland tonight, 95-89. Wade around the Alonzo morning screen. Wade continues to fight 
And he puts it in well. So is in for Shaq. Dwayne Wade, 30, and Miami. And to take fouls around the basket. You cannot let Shaq lay the ball in the basket late in the game. Well, if Shaq gets a touchdown low again, you cannot let him lay the ball in the basket. You've got to force him to shoot free throws. Tanslin and Queen Wayne with 32 points and a two-point Miami lead. Jack. Three seconds on the shot clock. Wade, Iguodala defending. Oh, and Wade with a spectacular play. And that was off just eight till he gets a stop. They'll get it back to win the game. Wade for the lead. And we saw that Dwayne Wade hit the game winner against New York early and you're that wide open. And then Miami loves this play under pressure. A little step ball and get a timeout. So you want to wait till the last possible second, get a shot at the basket. What Dwayne? Oh. Well, here is Wade. Iguodala, the rookie, defending. And this is for the win. We've got overtime. That's a great job by Iguodala. Forced him to his left, stayed down on the shot, made him shoot a long jump shot. You couldn't have done a better. Forced him to his left here. Now, Wade likes to go left, but he likes to go all the way. He pulled, pulls back, contests the shot, gets a hand in the face, off right. And Philadelphia lives to play the overtime. The best team in Miami is shooting 50% from the floor. Wade with a great thing, and he's got 38. Now this is comes Wade, a game high 38, and to the rack for two. That guy is so explosive, getting in the Wade. Oh. 42. <laughs> he's terrific. The question's going to be, can lost to Detroit was, guys, you know what, when we're healthy, we're a team that won 21 straight games. We played that way in stretches tonight, but defensively, when they had to, they couldn't get any stop. Well, this guy's been fabulous. <laughs> he had a well, three. Adjective 12, 26. Iverson, 36 and 16 assists. And Wade with a career high of 48 with six for him. That'll do it in a big time win for the Philadelphia 76ers. They score a season high 126 in beating the top team in the Eastern Conference, Shaq and Miami.